also going to recast or rebait and recast this rod because um, I'd had a half hearted take. I just wanted to check that the rig wasn't uh, cocked up or something. But it appears to have been in a bit of weed there, been in the chod, as our friend Steve, the carp catcher, would say. <coughs> oh dear. Feeling nice and rough this morning, as usual. 30 years of bloody smoking didn't help, I suppose, but that is all in the past. I'm going to keep that hook bait on. Basically, the reason is um, oh, sorry, I, I really need to just have a bait out there that doesn't appear to have been one of the, the new baits that's gone out there. So I'll, I'll keep the old baits on if I can. It's okay, is Nothing wrong with that. Just a bit washed out. Flavouring's going a bit now, I suppose. It's been out, out there all night. But that's good. That's, that's an asset. Oh, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to load this one with just boilies. I'm getting fed up with a bream now. I've had... Um, bigger every time. Bags I'm putting in the um, 150 by 60. I'm not so sure on the, the width of these bags, but for the amount of bait they hold, they're perfect. But with my big clumsy fat fingers, As you say, I'll put a fair helping in there. I'm now going to attempt to put the lead in. What I'm doing with, with this particular setup at the minute is I'm filling the bag right to the top. Instead of putting the lead in first, which you know, I must admit, I do do this. Bit. I'll do it the other way around this time. There. Fill, fill in the bag right to the top, and then, then, putting the lead in last, so that I can actually lay the. Straight out the, the normal way as it would normally land. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, that's very far. Right, so I'll just bring that round. I've pulled it round underneath. I'm tucking the, the hook just into the back. Now that should stay like that. Don't forget, you've got a Pierce the bags just in just in a few places, but it just lets the air out and it will providing you've got a two and a half three ounce lead it will actually make it or let the bag just sink down slowly to the bottom. Well I'm just gonna go and flick this one out. It's going um, well just past the bush there there's some more pads in the water. As you can probably see now. Anyway, I'm just going to put it in the left hand rod. Of 
the only problem is, is wherever we fish, it's going to be next to the damn weed. But there you go.